and you take a foot. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There we go. No fun if you just run. If I take the tape off your mouth, will you stop running and show some appreciation? Help you with, sir. Hold on. No. <laughs> well, well, I guess I should have changed into something more. Uh, I don't more... think we could survive. More, sister. <laughs> 
Well, how is everybody? How, how's Sister Geraldine? She's left us. We're praying that you'll find our way back again. I think we're blocking the way, sisters. Oh, yeah. Um, well, I, I just have one suitcase. We shouldn't have to wait too long for it. Are you going to stay, sister? Sister, Mother General made it quite explicit that we are not to attempt to influence Sister Ellen. I know, sister. But we really missed you. Oh, and I missed you. And honestly, Sister Frances, if I'd known that you were going to be here to meet me, I, I would I, I would have changed these. I, I know how it must disturb you. Have you uh, got a baggage ticket, sister? I'll get your suitcase. Thank you, sister. When did Sister Geraldine leave? Uh, two weeks ago, after evening prayers. Hmm. Well, sister, I... I took my questions and doubts out into the world, and I had a full-scale confrontation with myself. And, yeah, I dropped out, I tuned in, I got myself together, I saw the world, and, man, it is really heavy. <laughs> I am. Then you're going to stay, sister. Well, I answered one of my questions. I know, I know that I'm not running away from this world, but it's not where I'm really supposed to be. Now, now I'm going to have to find out whether, whether that's where I'm supposed to be, or if I should just look somewhere else. You didn't really talk like that, did you? You'd have tune in and drop out and things like that. Oh, sure. You did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I, I, of course, I didn't really ever get used to it. I still said things like uh, understand instead of dig. <laughs> we better get started, sister. Oh, thank you, sister. <laughs> well, I want to hear all about it. Sure. <laughs> Be living right. Nothing in the paper so far, man. What's the matter? She died. Larry, she screwed up the whole thing. She's dead. You killed her. She did it herself. She ran. I was just. She fell over this tail and she hit her head. She did it. You should have left her alone. You couldn't. You had to play games, huh? Man, she's the one that was stupid, not me! Tell me about stupid. She, she's stupid, Eddie. She's nothing. She's dead. Larry, do you think I wanted her dead? Now what happens? Eddie, we gotta run. That, that's murder. And what do we get for kidnapping, huh? Nothing. No money. Nothing. All we get is trouble. Oh, beautiful. We sit here and play gin. Well, first we bury her, then, then we wipe all the place clean with all the fingerprints, and then, and then... We could wipe this place until doomsday and still miss something, man. Now you know that. Well, then we'll burn it down. And still get nothing for all the work we put in it. No. We bury her. But, but we don't run. We still got maybe, maybe 48 hours till we have to deliver the girl and pick up the money. We still got time. T time for what? Man, I must have flipped out when I ever hooked up with you. Well, where would we be with your big ideas, cowboy? You don't have guts to take a book out of a library. And we got time to bail ourselves out of this if we use it right. But she's dead, Eddie. It's all over. We don't have her to deliver. No girl, no money. Is she the only girl with that color hair? With a body that shape? We got a whole room of clothes upstairs. All we need is a girl to put them on. You gonna grab somebody else? Well, why not? What are we gonna lose? We'd never get away with delivering the wrong girl. Well, we don't try, we don't get the money. We got into this for money. We're not gonna get out until we get some. You just couldn't keep your hands off of Dig a hole and stuff her in it. It'll find us another pigeon. It won't work, Eddie, I'm telling you. We're gonna make it work. Dig a hole and wait for me. 
But Eddie, I don't like it. I don't like it. You tell me that after we've got the ransom money. Let's go to work, cowboy. I'll see you. To this point, Sister Nan Earl always says, isn't the desert beautiful at this time of the day? Day or night? She always says that. <laughs> that sounds just like an espresso machine. I think the radiator's overheated. We'd better stop. It's the radiator hose. It's broken. What do we do? <sighs> Hail a passing motorist and ask him to stop at the nearest gas station and send a tow truck. I remember being told to sit and wait for the highway patrol to come. Well, it's liable to be a long, hot wait. Well, perhaps. If we're voting, I'm for stopping a motorist and asking him or, or her to send a tow truck. Uh, there are three of us. I wouldn't think of it alone. Fine. Fine, the, the majority rules. Maybe I can stop this one. Like you needed some help. Yeah, it was very nice of you. Oh, it's nothing. What's, uh, what's the problem? Well, the, uh, the radiator hose is broken. Oh. Let's see? Yeah, it sure is. You're, uh, you're gonna need a tow. Why don't you, uh, why don't you come to my house and uh, make a phone call? Well, where's that? Oh, it's just down the road. Oh, gee, that's putting you in a lot of trouble. You, you were headed in the other direction. I wasn't doing anything important. And really, it, it's no trouble. You know, a matter of fact, it would be quicker for you if I told you I live close to the station and you're going to have a tough time getting anyone to come out, especially on the weekend. Oh, well, thank you. That's, that's really wonderful. Um, oh, I'd, I'd better check with Sister Frances before I accept. Who? Oh, uh... There are three of us traveling together. I, I'm Sister Ellen, and that's Sister Meredith, and that's Sister Frances behind the wheel. Hi.
the sign said Victorville to the left. Well, he said the nearest gas station is closer to his house than it is to Victorville. I think he's very nice to go on all this trouble. I would think there'd be a closer service station than this. We don't have electricity out here, but the phone works fine. It looks a little Edgar Allan Poe, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it looks a lot Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> well, you'll, you'll feel better when I light a lantern. Excuse me for a minute. I really wish we'd waited for the highway patrol to come. Come on in, ladies. Please sit down. I'll, uh, I'll make some coffee for you after I phone the station down the road and have them come fix the car. Oh, thank you very much. We really appreciate it, Mr. Uh... Eddie, I'll phone and be right back. Well, why don't you uh, use this one? Because that one doesn't work, but the one upstairs does, Sister. Francis. Sister Francis. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. It doesn't work. I don't trust him. You were gonna get one woman, not three. And two of them are nuns. What are you doing to us, Eddie? That's all we need. Come on, Larry. You wouldn't fire on me. Besides, all three of them are nuns. All three of them? Yeah. Eddie, what are you doing to us? Are you on something I don't know about? Acid speed, something? Nothing. Man, do you think it's easy to go out and get a woman the right age, the right size, the right... Man, yeah, but, but three nuns? I didn't know there were three nuns. I saw this one woman. She was standing by the car. I didn't know there were three until it was too late. Besides, we need a car. We use their car. Well, it was going to be so simple. Everything falls apart. It is simple. Eddie, they won't pay the ransom without Louise alive and looking at them. You're scared. Right. Yes, I'm scared. Eddie, we're not criminals. This was, it just seemed like an easy way to get rich. It's not too late to drop the whole thing. It'll work. It's gotta work. Besides, I want to be rich. Here. The sisters to bed if you can handle it. This room reminds me of home. We had a kitchen as big as this. Our whole apartment isn't this big. Mm -hmm. Our farm was just about as isolated as this house. Hmm. Who are you? All right, sisters, on your feet. We're going to take a little walk. Why are you doing this to us? Never mind. Just do what I say, and you won't get hurt. Where did you come from? Oh, well, we haven't done anything. Do as this says. All right, sisters, in the basement. Come on, sisters. Take this. speak to them or, or even acknowledge their presence. I can't believe this is really happening to us. I don't think that'll work, Sister Francis. They must be made to realize that we are not afraid of them. Well, considering what's happened, I don't think it matters to them whether we're afraid of them or not. We will not show fear. 
We will demand to be released. We cannot cooperate with them in any way. They do not agree to set us free. I still don't understand why they kidnapped us. I mean, we have no money. No one's going to pay a ransom for us. Well, these days, young men do strange things to prove their manhood, sister. It's, it's my guess that that's what's happening here to us. It's some, uh, some uh, ritual. Well, if their intention was to prove their manhood, I think they would have proven it by now. I meant by imposing control on helpless women, sister. Sister, honestly, how can we... I, I, I just wish it was that simple or that complicated. I don't know which it is. Sister Ellen, if you don't agree, kindly do not interfere. How can we make a plan if we don't know what we're facing? I keep thinking that this is some kind of joke. Sister Meredith, you keep saying that. Now, why? I don't know why. I'm sorry, Sister Frances. She didn't mean anything by it. She's just upset. But it would certainly make your ideas work if she was right, Sister. I wasn't attacking her, and you needn't defend her by attacking me. She now, wasn't. Perhaps if we all say a prayer and, and meditate, that this will all come clear for us. Sorry it's not too comfortable down here, but I did bring you some coffee. Young man, we demand that you release us immediately. Do you understand? Immediately. I understand that, sister, but I can't do that just now. You won't be hurt if you show a little patience. You do believe patience is a virtue, don't you? And you, sister, I want you to put these clothes on. She will not. She'll put them on or we'll do it for her. That's your choice, sister. What's... What's wrong with these clothes? We will not cooperate with you in any way whatsoever until you guarantee to release us. Just put the clothes on. Please tell us... I'll be back in a few minutes. But we're nuns. Don't you understand? Do not have to do what he says. Yes, we do. Yes, we do, Sister Frances. Have fun, you kids. You fix the radiator hose? Yeah. You do what he says with a smile. Or I'll kill your friends in the basement, do you understand? Yes. Move out, babe. Yeah. How'd you ever get to be a nun? I mean, why? You don't look like one, you don't dress like one. How come? I knew a guy in school once who became a priest. I never knew him well enough to know why he did it, though. I became a nun because I wanted to do things for people, not to them. And because I never wanted to be as afraid as you are.
of that beauty part of there. Here's a sample of hair. Well, go on, take it. Go on in there to buy a wig with, with hair down to here. It's got to be that color and with, with bangs. Why? I mean... I Just should... do it. Yes, I'll do whatever you say. And one more thing. You're in a big hurry for that wig. You're gonna, you're gonna wear it to a party tonight. All right. All right, let's go. Hey, nuns, you want a beer? Yes, thank you. Uh, 75 cents. Hello, Sister Nadine. This is Sister Ellen. Sister Ellen, where are you? Well, uh, Sister Frances became ill and uh, so we decided to take her back to St. John's. Sister Frances, what's the matter? Well, she has pains in her chest and uh, congested lungs. It's the flu again, I think. Where are you staying? Oh, oh, at the, at the Sisters of St. Michael Convent. Where? Yes, thank you. We'll tell Sister. Goodbye, Sister Nadine. But you can't mean the Sisters of St. Michael. That... God be with you, Sister. Sister Ellen. Sister Ellen. That was fine, sister. Now, she can't have met the Sisters of St. Michael Convent. That's in San Francisco. You know, you know, it just might work when she's got that wig on if nobody gets too close. I'm telling you, it's gonna work. We're in, man. But I don't like it that she's a nun. Yeah, me too. None of this and none of that. Yeah, you knock it off, will you? Well, I learned my lesson. I'm not gonna mess with the cash register twice. You know, once we take off to make the pickup and deliver our phony Louise, I guess the other two would be all right in the cellar. 
So Sister Ellen tells the cops where they are, huh? No, they gotta go when we make the exchange. Well, you mean with us? No, man, there's too many to watch. Mm, no, they gotta go the way Louise did. Now they could get out and screw everything up. But you can't kill nuns. Well, we better give it our best shot because we can't take them with us and we can't leave them behind. Oh, hey, you can't do that. You watch me. Bang, bang. So? Well, you, you crazy? Do you like killing? No. But uh, can you think of anything as safe? Don't worry about it. I'll handle it. You just give me another beer, will you? What's the point of leaving one in the motel and killing the other two? I mean... All right! Now you're cooking, Cobbler. No, no, I mean, I mean, we need one to leave in the motel in place of Louise when we pick up the ransom money, right? Right. But who well, says she still has to be breathing? Well, yeah, but if she keeps quiet for 12 hours, well, that's enough time to get to Mexico on a bus, say, eh? nothing of a plane. There's no point to kill her or, or any of them. If? That's nah, a big if. What makes her keep still for 12 hours? Well, fear. You know, all we gotta do is tell her that the other two, the other two die, she talks. Well, she'd let us cut her to pieces before she let anything happen to those other two nuns. You know nuns. Mm, you, you might be right. <laughs> What is it? Oh, I just wanted to... I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I'm tired, but I'm fine. And you? Oh, I'm fine, too. I'm sorry to have disturbed you, sister. Good night. Good night, sister. Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Okay, Sister Ellen, time to go. Come on, let's go. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. It's funny. You wearing that wig and those clothes, and my mind went right back to a girl I used to date. I'm afraid of you. Why are you afraid of me? I suppose it's the gun. I don't know. I told you we wouldn't hurt you or the others if you did what we said. I'm a teacher. What? We all are high school teachers. <laughs> high school teachers? <laughs> What's funny about that? Nothing. What do you get out of teaching? Oh, a lot of headaches. A lot of hard work. And a feeling that you're doing something that matters. To who? People who need help. Anybody. Everybody. Everybody's a lot of people. 
Most of us have to settle for just one at a time. You ought to try it. I need help, sister. Yes, that's right. Uh, we'll be back day after tomorrow. Oh, it's so long. Well, Sister Frances can't possibly uh, leave before then. Well, uh, while I have you on the phone, Sister Ellen, um, tell me, how was your visit at home? Well, it accomplished a, a half of what I hoped it would. I, I, I'll, uh, I'll explain it to you when I see you, uh, Sister. It, it's a very complicated. Well, I'll, I'll look forward to hearing. Uh, oh, and one thing more. Um, give my very best wishes to Sister Frances and uh, tell her that all of the sisters send their love and their prayers. Yes, I will. Um, uh, we'll see you a day after tomorrow. Oh, and, and don't forget to um, give my regards to Sister Meredith. No, I won't. Goodbye, Sister. G goodbye, Sister Ellen. Did you have enough time to trace the call? It's not bad. That's really very good. Well, Louise here takes a great picture, don't you? Well, we'll think about the camera. You mind if we keep that? Oh, not at all. Good. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Oh, I guess I could have gone to college on the GI Bill. But once you fly over it, you know there's more to the world than working on a horse ranch in Saugus. Can you fly? Yeah, I did some flying in the Army. The world does make loud noises, doesn't it? What do you mean? The world, you know, the, the people in the world, the, the things that happen in the world. It's all very loud and urgent. It reaches out, it comes after you. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, can we have some coffee for Louise here? Why do you keep calling me Louise? Is that who I'm supposed to be? How did you get involved in all this? Would you believe me if... if I said I don't know? I believe you. It's done. It went perfect. <sighs> Groovy. How's your friend? Haven't talked her into giving up the cloth yet? You're losing your magic touch, babe. Just keep your mind on your job, will you? Except for one minor goof. Have I ever failed you? Together? Look, as I told you before, the police have advised me not to pay the ransom unless, unless I have proof, some proof that my niece is still alive. Get a pencil, Mr. Wiedemeyer. Yes. There's a drug store at 1529 Bancroft Street. And a camera store at 614 West Vermont, both in Victorville. Louise was in both places this morning. Call him. I'll tell you she's still alive. Mr. Wiedemeyer. I'll call you back and tell you where to drop the money. Hey, 
Bring some food down for you high school teachers in a little bit. I'm not going to be left for the police to find. I'm going to stay here. What? It's not going to be me. I can't leave Sister Meredith and Sister Frances to die. How did you know about that? I mean it. I'm not going. You overheard us talking? Yes. I know you're going to kill the two of us that are left behind. I won't play your game anymore. Sister, listen, you didn't hear it. What's the matter with you? Why can't you live with the truth? It is true, no, and you know No, no, we're not going to kill anybody. I mean it. I'm sorry. I'm no more brave than you are. I've known about it since last night, and I haven't told the others, and I wasn't going to tell you I knew either, except... except that I think it's only fair that the sisters know. I don't know why I told you. It was probably stupid. But I'm glad I did. I feel better for it. And now you know. You know that I won't save myself and leave my sisters to die. I won't. Thank you. I've, I've got to tell you both something. Uh, the, um, they're going to leave one of us someplace for the police to find. And the two that stay here are going to be killed. I heard them talking last night. You heard them say that? I can't believe that. Yes, last night. I beg you both to forgive me for not for not telling you then, but I was just so upset. I, 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 I couldn't deal with it. I, I, I couldn't believe it. But now I do believe it. I, I talked to Larry about it, and he denied it, but I, I could tell. The look on his face, I, it's true. I know it's true. You, you told them that you heard it? Yes. And I also told him that I wouldn't be the one that the police find. I told them I'd stay here. I will remain here also. No, sister, let me stay. Sister Meredith, if necessary, Sister Ellen and I will remain here. But, sister... But we still may have a chance to escape. Escape.
What's the matter? Broke out the cellar window while you were sleeping. He tried to run us over. Are you all right now, sister? I'm going to zap him. I'm going to zap him tonight. Oh, yeah, no, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. How'd it go? What? With the old man. Oh, old man, meet him higher. On the phone. Larry? You should have heard me. It was beautiful. I said, this is me. I want it in fives and tens. And he said, sure. And yeah. And whatever you say. Cowboy, you would have that ranch. Those horses. We are rich, baby. Yeah. Crime pays. You can't bring me down. We did it. It's beginner's luck. She knows. What? She knows. She heard us talking last night. All right, she knows. She heard us talking. Big deal. Oh, yeah, big deal. Have you ever had anybody look you right in the eye and say, I know you're going to kill my friends? Well, if she heard us talking, she knows that she goes to the motel. She lives. She won't go now that she knows that the two that stay behind get wiped out. I didn't mean to ask her permission. Well, what do you mean? That I should force her to live because she's, like, ready to die so somebody else could live? She's a nun. Eddie, we don't have to kill them. We don't have to kill anybody. It's not going to do us any good. Look, all they know that we kept them down in a the basement. They don't know where we're going. What could they do to us? Nothing. I'll tell you how they could hurt us. They could have us looking, looking in back, and we should be looking to our front. Hey, I don't care who goes. Just as long as she can keep her mouth shut for 12 hours. All I want is a body under a wig, that's all. The other two, they go. Eddie, that's crazy. They've got to go. Eddie, I'm not asking you, cowboy. I'm telling you, they die. <laughs> Some sandwiches. Thank you. Help me hold them down. Help me down. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Pardon her, I'll kill you if he finds out what you're doing. Take us out of here. You're crazy. Take us out of here. No! Say, what happened, man? Just an accident, Eddie. The gun misfired. I had to drop it. Watch yourself. Yeah, okay. Time to go, Sister Mary. How will the police find her? I'll take care of that. You're not to talk to the police for 12 hours. And not if you want to see your friends again. I don't intend killing them unless you talk to the police. Come on, let's put that wig on, sister.
Please don't kill us. You can save us, I know you can. at the bridge. If it's all there, I'll call you back and tell you where to pick up Louise. I said, if it's all there, I'll call you back and tell you where to pick up Louise. I just couldn't believe it, but they got away. Through the window again? I told you to nail up that window. I did last night. 
soon as I got back from calling Wiedemeyer to tell him where to find his niece, I came in here and saw that door. I'm telling you, we gotta find him. I've searched the house a couple of times already. No, oh, everything was going perfectly. Let's just shove off, Eddie. What, are you crazy and leave them? They can't be too far away. They're probably outside right by the house. We got less than 11 hours. Look again, I'll check outside. Go through the house again, Larry. Sister Ellen? He's looking for you outside. Now, you stay in here. Don't make a sound, not a sound, you hear? Mr. Wiedemeyer, but I wish you'd made sure before you gave him the money. Sister Meredith, I'm Detective Lieutenant Parrish. How do you do? How do you do? Can we start at the beginning? I can't give you any information. I'm sorry. But I, I just can't. What do you mean, you can't? Anything happened to the two nuns I was with because of what I said, I'd I never forgive myself. Sister Meredith, if you ever expect to see them alive again, you'd better tell me everything. The location of their hideout, their descriptions, everything, and now, right now. No. No, I'm sorry. I can't. Not for the next 12 hours. I'm sorry. Excuse me, sister. We better shove it off. We've used up four hours already. Yeah, I know. Larry, I can't understand how they could have gotten away so quickly. It just doesn't make sense. I'm gonna look one more time. I should have killed him. You know I should have killed him. You got what I wanted? Yeah, there it is. Good. If you'd cooperated with us, Sister Meredith, if you'd given us the information we wanted, then maybe, just maybe, this might have been prevented. State Highway Patrol found a body about 45 minutes ago. Stop the men who did this. They promised me that if I kept silent. How many men? Two. Young, old, fat, thin. I want to know everything about them. Why would, why would they do something like this? Why? The house where they held you, the kind of car they drove, everything. I can't believe it. Sister Meredith, help us before they murder someone else. Okay. Let's wipe the nun's car clean of prints and get out of here. I wiped everything clean in here. Maybe you're right. Maybe we should burn this place down. No, man, the house is wiped clean. Let's split. How about the living room? 
Yeah, there too. Come on. No, I better check. Eddie, I did that. You're just wasting time. We only have so many hours. Larry, you don't know what I touched in the living room. Come on. Okay. Come on, Eddie, that's enough. Come on. <gasps> you sold me out. You sold me out for them. You are a fink. I'm gonna kill you, you fink. you made me do to my friend, my best friend. I killed him. If you hadn't have screamed, he wouldn't have found you. I told you not to make a sound. I told you to be quiet. I told you not to make a sound. I, I begged you. Begged you, didn't I? Sergeant Ramonte, the other nuns in here. Are, are you all right, sister? Yes, I'm all right. Sister Francis. Oh, oh, thank God you're alive. Thank God. The lieutenant told me that one of you was dead. Hamilton, get some men and start digging for the Wiedemeyer girl's body as soon as we're finished here. Where's Sister Ellen? What happened? I don't know. He took her with him. No, the other man, Larry. Romani, had the airports, bus stations, used car lots, uh, car rental agencies rechecked for the one called Larry and used the description we've got now. What about the roadblocks? Yeah, I haven't moved in now that we know when he left here. Oh, please, remember, he, he saved our lives. The thing is, sister, he had to kill to do it, and that hardly makes him a choir boy. Well, you killed to save lives, too. That's my job. no feelings. What do you mean? I can't find anything in you. Nothing. Did you ever feel like a woman? Never once in your life feel anything? I don't, I don't have that kind of feeling. You well, what kind of feelings do you have? Why does it matter to you whether I have any feelings or not? It doesn't matter. Not now, sister. You're in my classroom now. I'm not one of your students. <laughs> Thank you. 
K614 to Highway Patrol. Over. Highway Patrol to K614. Go ahead. I found that camper you guys are looking for. Field reports a parked camper fitting our description. Over. Get everybody there fast. And tell them to block the runway. This is 6-1. Advance all available units. <laughs> He was 
worse off than we were. He didn't have any place to turn to. <laughs> he was all alone. He just... He died alone. He died No, he didn't, alone. sister. You were there. You know what? You know what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of right now? I'm just... I'm just wondering who's taking over my classes. All those children. All those children. Mm -hmm.